Hey guys, in this video we are going to be attacking what it is the the NoPack um, exploits, and in this was discovered in November of 2021. Uh, it's a CVE 2021 48278, and it's basically a name impersonation. And this is because computer accounts should have a trailing dollar sign in their name. Um, in the name and but there is no validation process um, or it, it didn't have a, a validation process for this to make sure of it and that's what we're going to be abusing and to abuse this we are going to basically we are just going to be running a um, an exploit which is called no pack by writ by Ritter Ritter I think that's what it's called it is a github repository that we're going to be downloading um, for us to be exploiting this and what that does is that it's going to create a new machine name um, after it does that it's going to clear the SPN or the service principal name um, then it is going to rename the service principal name to our domain controller after it does that it's going to request a TGT or ticket granting ticket for the for that machine account that we create that we created for that machine account that we created right it's going to first create a, a it's going let me go back again it's going to create a machine right after it does that it is going to rename it to our domain controller then we are going to request a ticket granting ticket um, for that machine that was created and then renamed right because we have the the basically the computer name or the username and password for it so we're going to get a TT for it um, then we are going to reset that back to the old name and after that it is going to obtain that we're going to have that TGT and we're going to request a s for you to self by presenting that TGT and we're going to get a C cache which we're going to be able to use um, to basically um, you know authenticate and dump the the entire NTDS database so that is going to be very fun so let's go ahead and start this the first thing that I want to do is I just want to make a directory I just want to call this um, oh and make sure that you are connected to the VPN I am um, I want to SSH to the Parrot OS flat machine there we go let's clear this out I want to make a directory here and I'm going to call it just exploiting users all right so in here we are going to download a GitHub repository that we're going to be using, and hopefully it's able to do that. Uh, dun, 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 dun. And we got it. So let's go ahead and go into this directory. Uh, <clears throat> so in here also before we do anything we need to make sure that we do have access to create a new computer uh, so for this we are going to be using um, the user Donald Trump and so this is for so I one more time so I was not able to authenticate with this user um, make sure that we got the correct password I think we do Donald Trump the one that we want to North This we make sure. There we go. I just had the incorrect domain over here. 
because this is for the New York the local domain. There we go. So we got the maximum quota. So let's go ahead and exploit this. So since we have the access, we got the clone. So now what we need to do is we need to see if we still have access. You can also run a scanner. Um, there is a scanner in here in this GitHub repository. Um, this one, so we're going to be running this one. We're going to be Python 3 scanner, um, domain name, the um, username, password, and the domain controller. And here we go. It looks like we got access. We got access. Um, got the TT. So now we are going to be running um, the exploit. And um, <clears throat> for this exploit, oh, I got the scanner again. So for this exploit, we are going to be running the NoPack.py, New York Loco for Donald Trump. Make a make. America Great, Domain Controller, the same one, and we are going to try to impersonate the administrator. So let's go ahead and dump that guy. Um, as you can see over here, we got the current quota. We selected the target, right? Uh, we tried to impersonate it. It created a computer, um, and it set the password for that computer. Uh, we were successfully adding that computer, um, the object of that computer. You can see that the we changed the account to NYC, right? The name um, we got got that ticket for it because we got the right. We got the username and password. We reset the machine back to its original name. Uh, we got the ticket granting ticket from Ccash, and we impersonated administrator. We requested the S for you to self. And it saved that ticket over here. Let me see if it is here. It looks like it did. Awesome. But it wasn't able to delete that machine. So that's fine. <laughs> we can leave some trace behind, right? So now let's see where we are. All right. So we are going to um, we are going to be adding this C cache that in, that it got exported. So. We are going to copy this directory and in here we are going to add the administrator let me go ahead okay so I'm missing the so it is missing this equal sign in here let's go ahead and go back to the end we should find an administrator let's go ahead and add it Clear this out so we can go to the top. So now we are going to be able to do a dump with secret with um, secrets dump.py that we have done before. And we are going to say no pass. K basically we are going to use the Kerberos um, C cache that we got. And let's see if we're able to exploit. And here we go. We got the dump. So we were able to dump everybody's password in here. And that's because we impersonated the administrator and we got that administrator C cache and we were able to basically do a secret that dump that pie. We said, right, to use Kerberos, no pass, domain controller. Um, and here's how it is set up. We were able to dump it, right? And if you want to see um, secrets dump that pie for all the commands that are run, you can just run this guy over here, right? And you can see all the options that you have. Um, you can do a debug. You know, you can do the same dump. Just do do the same dump. Do NTDS. Um, you can just specify um, just user, right? You can specify the user that you want to dump the hash for. Um, you can uh, do a hash instead of a Kerberos. So there's a lot of stuff that you can do. So always take a look. Every time I run a, a script, it's always a you know a good way to see what other commands um, you can use so there we go we dumped the entire password um, so in another 
one or another trick that you could do instead of just dumping the password you could have just done the um, get a shell instead of dumping the C cache so let's see if we are able to get a shell uh, so we were not able to get a shell um, I believe because this user just until let me see I think I got the incorrect impersonate shell let's try new your host connection reviews that's probably because NYC New York the local it's probably because this user doesn't have all oh, the yeah. it's big it's probably um, let me say that again it is probably because um, we exceeded the quota already for other machines that we can add. But whenever you're doing it, the lab environment is going to be reset every two hours. So we should have access or you should be able um, to do that. I forgot to reset it. So that's why it's not working for me. But I'm going to leave that in the description below or not in, in all the commands so you can run it and you can see that you're able to get a shell. And another thing that we need to do is that we need to do some cleanup and we need to delete that computer that was created uh, but I don't remember what it was right so um, what you could do is that um, you can basically RDP to it uh, let me see if I can RDP to it real quick and we can see and we can delete what we got in there um, And that you cannot do it from the Parrot OS. So if you open a new terminal, um, just do it from your VM. And what we're going to be running is XFreeRDP, which we have used before. Um, so XFreeRDP, we're going to specify the user, which is going to be administrator, because we got we dumped the administrator hash, right? And for here, it's going to be past the hash for the hash. The V is going to be the victim machine size. I want it to set up to 80%. That should be good. And 80%, and then search ignore. Search ignore and we just need to pass the hash let's see if we are able to RDP to it um, the hash I have it in it's going to be under all the commands as well so let's go ahead and get the hash for it just give me one second I'm trying to look for it should be this one and we should get Permitted for them, blank passwords are not allowed, so there's a restriction on it, so we won't be able to RDP to it. Uh, so we won't be able to clear that, but it's fine. We're leaving some trace behind. Um, but let me see, I think we have another. We can XRDP with Pacheco with this user. I tell Pacheco, yep, they'll be able to do that. So let me go ahead and if we go to the administ administer tools, we are going to go to the New York local, and you can see over here that there's some computers that got created because of it. So we can just go ahead and delete it, right? Um, so, yep, guys, this is it for this video. I go. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye bye.